Across the board, we're just seeing nothing but we need more supply, more supply, more supply. Frustrations continue over Idaho's vaccine rollout. The state saying it's doing the best it can with what it has to work with. Welcome to the news at 10. We begin with new data showing Idaho has administered about 94% of its vaccine allotment, even with recent shipping delays due to winter storms across the country. Katia Stepovic once again is tracking Idaho's rollout for us. And Katia, this sounds like a fine balance between a glass half full and half empty situation. That's right, Mark. Well, Idaho health experts say the concern right now is not necessarily about the shipment delays, but it's more so about helping the many Idahoans age 65 and older who are still struggling to schedule an appointment. The limited availability of appointments has created a situation where individuals are making many attempts to schedule an appointment which has led to overwhelmed phone lines and websites. Idaho's Health and Welfare Director Dave Jepson says help is on the way to speed up the vaccine rollout. The state's setting up an online system for people to pre-register for vaccine appointments. Citizens can go and say, I'm interested in getting vaccinated. Uh, and then when it's their turn and when a provider that's near them has an appointment, that, that provider will reach out and schedule them for their appointment. Jepson hopes to have the system up and running in early March, but the main problem is one we've heard before. The biggest issue, as we are all aware, is the supply of COVID-19 vaccine is not meeting the demand in Idaho and across the country. So when another effort to get as many Idahoans ages 65 and older vaccinated as soon as possible, the department announced that starting today, individuals must show proof of Idaho residency or employment in order to get vaccinated. We're starting to see some demand from other states that may have more limited capacity to come here to get vaccinated. Uh, where that wasn't necessarily the case early in the process. Nearly 4,800 people that don't live or work in Idaho have been vaccinated in the GEM state. We've gotten much quicker getting doses out, which makes us a more attractive place for people to come get vaccinated. Something else that's working against Idaho's vaccine rollout? Old data. Jepson says our federal partners are basing Idaho's vaccine allotment off of census data from 2018. Because we are a very fast growing state. And the feedback we've gotten from them is yes, they are, they are looking at that. They're looking at the more recent census data. I plan to move to that at some point in the future, which should level us out to where we should be on, on an allocation basis. So definitely, unfortunately, a lot of challenges that the committee is facing. But Mark, they are still confident that good things are to come. That pre-registration program will be live sometime in the beginning of March. If you would like to learn more about it, we have information on our website, ktvb.com. Two words we've used a lot, Katia, patience and challenges. You just heard why right there. Katia Stepovic reporting live. Katia, thank you.